All right, what's good, y'all? As you can see here, I got everything done, and I am fucking exhausted. It's it's 4:30 in the morning, but where I'm at over here, so I would appreciate you guys subbing. <laughs> I am so tired. This is the worst grind ever for this card that's marginally better than Prince Fielder. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys how to get this done as fast as possible, so you don't have to suffer like me. Do the moments you're going to get all these cards. I believe you get all the way to around right here like right before the player them up drops and you should get around to uh willy adamas but once you get all these cards right you're going to make a team of all tops now cards and then you're gonna have tyler mcgill taylor mcgill whatever however you say his name what you're gonna do this is that you're gonna go play versus cpu you're going to play the a's on legend now you're gonna say oh this is legend why is it so difficult the a's fucking suck Listen, I watch the team every day. I know they suck. They have 51 contact, which is like by far the worst. To put that into perspective, Cincinnati is like 331 or whatever the fucking record is, 321. And they have 55 contact. And you just want as many strikeouts as possible, so you're gonna go on the A's on Legend. If you're on Next Gen, you can play at your creative stadium max elevation. If you're on current gen, Laughing Mountain. In the starters, we're gonna pick McGill, obviously. Now I'm not gonna do the missions over again because I already did the program. So what you're gonna basically do is that the guild doesn't have a wind up. So you can immediately quick pitch. And you're going to do this for six innings, five or six innings. You will get around 450 uh, parallel experience and you need 2000 from the tops now cards. So when you're doing all this, right? You have McGill and your whole lineup. They are all tops now cards. So it doesn't matter how many of them are with pitchers or in hitters. Once you get this done, this should take you around like two, three games. I had to mention this before we move on, but if you do all the moments and you do the collections, this mission will not count towards the tops now and the program. It will only count towards stage two. As you can see here, I got the 2000 tops now for stage one, I mean for stage two, but not for stage one. I don't know why they made it like that. It's really fucking stupid. Once you get to stage two, it's gonna show you all these cards, right? Monthly awards pitchers, monthly awards hitters. I have to tell you guys, there is a difference between a monthly awards and the player, um, the tops now. Any card that looks like a tops now card, like these, I don't mean to sound like a jackass, but these are tops now. These cards right here that have like the blue border on the bottom with the logo on the top left, these are monthly awards is once we finish the tops now missions is that we're going to buy one of the relievers. So this is gonna be either Romano or Areno. And to show you how much of a grind this actually was, I got Romano P4, almost fucking P5, just off this program on Legend. 79 innings. Don't worry about the, the quits. I'll show you guys the method for that later. But yeah, it, it's pretty brutal. <laughs> I hated every minute of it. Another key point I have to mention, keep saying this a lot. This says monthly awards hitters, and this says monthly awards pitchers. Don't get it confused that you can use pitchers and hit with them and you'll get parallel experience with hitters, you know, for that part, because it does not count. I tried it. For the individual missions, you want the pitchers to hit lead off. It'll make it faster in the long run. It's gonna also help in stage three. Forgot to mention this part, but you can skip three players in this part of the program. That's why you guys see I didn't do Dawson. When you're trying to get the pitchers missions done, try to get the 2000 experience. And then once you get that done, you're going to sell whatever reliever and you're gonna keep buying the other one to complete the mission. It'll help you on no money spent. When you're setting up the lineup for this program, you need to lead off all the player of the month cards. So we're going to use Owen Miller, Jock Peterson, and we'll use uh, what about Owen Miller because as you guys see here, these are all 88s. You're going to get three 88 overall packs from the the program before you can do anything else. This Taylor Ward, I just have him here for filler. He's a 90 overall pack, which you cannot get until you start grinding these missions. So what we're going to do is that. We're going to buy Romano. It doesn't have to be Romano, but I use Romano because he has higher hits per nine out of all the relievers, you know, pitchers in the program. Then you're going to go into the game and then you're going to pitch your nuts off on Legend once again. Obviously, start Romano, you know, as an opener. 
So for guys like Romano, Areno, I think that's how you say his name. These guys have really low stamina. And if you guys play MLB The Show for a long time, you guys know that once you lose stamina and you're in the red, it's all nightmares. You do not need to pitch at a created stadium. That was the one mistake I had when actually doing this. I just did it just to hurry up with the hitters. It is a nightmare trying to parallel pitchers. Once you're going to do is that you're going to pitch around like 30 to 40 pitches. That's when they like actually get tired. Medium, yellow, reddish area. If you try to pitch with no energy, you will regret it really badly. So just don't do it. You will thank me later. Just don't even try it. Once the guy gets, he loses all of his energy, back out. Now, pitting on legend is really difficult. And I'm going to be 100% honest. If you just wanted to do this to like mind numbingly grind, play on the Hall of Fame. I play on Legend because I know I'll hit fine there. But what you're going to do in the lineup, right? So we have the top three guys as player of the month. Player of the month. Monthly awards cards. Ignore Ward and Dawson. We're going to focus on them trying to get ABs, which is try to get hits with them, right? The rest of the guys, we're just going to bunt out. There is no point in it. You're going to just bunt out because you want your pitcher to actually, you know, get stats done. What you guys also need to know that you have to bat with eight hitters, which is fucking stupid. I hate it. I hate it to death, but you know, that's just how they made it to prevent boosting from like MLB 20, which is so stupid because it's like literally, <laughs> it's literally offline. Now let's get to the last part, which is very optional and I don't recommend doing this part, but I did it anyways because I'm a maniac. One last thing I have to mention that every single stage you have here they all get capped. So once you have like 65 and you're done with stage one, it won't carry over. And what I mean by that is that a lot of people will have like 56 like or 54 like points and then they'll do the collection because it'll say like, oh, you get 40. Oh no, it still caps you at 65 and you have to do everything else in between. It's not like last year. Basically for stage three, it's literally just parallel experience, which is saddening, but we're going to do the exact same thing but we're gonna have Rizzo lead off. We're gonna have Romano or Reno just pitch the whole game. Well, five, six innings until so, like his energy goes out. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. <laughs> I'm so tired. The like, I'm going to post this and probably knock out for like 12 hours. Anyways, guys, I will see you guys later.